I mean, it took us a very long time to find that record, Happy Together. It was a demo, in fact, that had been turned down by every single group in America, from the Vogues to Gary Lewis. Everybody passed on that song. They couldn't hear it. And we got the demo record in, and we listened to it, and we understood why, even though Koppelman and Rubin were really trying to voice this song on us. It was a terrible demo. It was this one guy singing in a falsetto voice, one guy playing guitar, and the singer was pounding on his legs. And the thing just, it was scratchy and popped all over, and the guy is, I can't see me loving nobody! And it was just abysmal. And we said, no, no, this, there's something about this that's very magical, but we can't figure it out. The demo is so bad. So can we meet these guys? So Koppelman and Rubin flew them into Los Angeles, put them up. This is Gary Bonner and Alan Gordon, two members of the Magicians, who we had also seen playing with the Spoonful in the village. Uh, they flew them to LA, put them up at the Beverly Hills Hotel in a bungalow. Uh, we went out to see them. They got their guitar out. They got ready to perform. Here we go. I can't see me loving us. And it was just horrible. And we said, well, you know, despite this, we really want to cut the song. So we took it on the road with us instead of going into the studio. And we worked it uh, with our bass player at the time, who was Chip Douglas. And uh, he largely was responsible for the horns and the vocal arranging on that thing. Eight months later, we went into the studio, we cut the song, we walked out of there absolutely knowing for the only time in my life that this was a number one record. And it was, and we didn't have to worry about it, and it's never happened before or since. So it was a very, very strange and almost mystical recording. I, I don't know how, in fact, it sounds the way it sounds. I listen to all of its fragmented parts separately, and there's no magic there. But somehow, you put it all together, and it turns into more than the yeah. sum of its parts. Was it, was, it, was it Time Magazine that called it one of the great songs of the 20th century? There were, there were, it was it, one of the 50 biggest yeah. songs of the 20th yeah. century, right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, So, right. well, that's something. Yeah, you bet. And deservedly so. It was great. It was great.